rebuild on out of the park baseball 22 and we are a bit into the first season and we have reached the draft pool reveal i really really like the draft portion of all of these games uh, so we're going to take a look at what sort of draft we draft class we have to deal with and then look at the actual performance from the team if you sneak a peek at the top of the screen you see that we are currently at 540 which is way better than i would have expected but let's start off with the actual draft pool so they look like this if we look at the osa scouting one five star potential the 18 year old cooper kinney second baseman and we have a couple of starting pictures. Second baseman Max Ferguson, Brady House, third baseman. A couple of more starting pictures. We would really need a starting pitcher. Uh, we would need decent outfielder as well. In these early years, I'm going to draft purely for quality. Uh, and if we get players through who doesn't fit our system uh, or if we get players through in a position that we don't need, then we will simply uh, trade them for value. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, I have sent our scout Klein out to look at the top 30 prospects because if we let him do the scouting, there are no decent potential players out there. And I, I refuse to believe that. I refuse to think that this is an absolutely atrocious uh draft class and if we look at the draft order we are drafting in the number eight spot and the mock draft has us taking alex mooney shortstop who looks okayish i guess according to klein and looks like he could have an astounding contact if we look at the osa uh, so we need to uh, we need to scout him as well. If we look at the actual team, this is what it looks like. We are second in the West Division behind Astros, but we're only two and a half games behind, which is way better than predicted. We were supposed to finish around 500 in win percentage this season, and at the moment we are above that, which makes me very happy. If we look at the batting leaders, Mike Trout has a 332 batting average, David Fletcher 302, and Anthony Rendon 284. Uh, Trout leads us in home runs, he leads us in RBI, he uh, doesn't lead us in stolen bases, that's Shohei Otani. But when we look at war, he has a 4.3 war. When we look at pitchers, it isn't looking that great. Andrew Heaney is. The best pitcher when we look at ERI, 4.15, which isn't great. Uh, eight wins there from Dylan Bundy. 65 strikeouts from Jose Quintana. Uh, so, so our offense has been maybe slightly better than I predicted. I did say that we would have to rely on the offense. But if we look at the defense, they have been just as bad as I thought that they would be. With Andrew Heaney maybe being one of the biggest disappointments. Griffin Canning only one game, 386 ERA. Dylan Bundy, 406 ERA. I'm not sure why he doesn't show up on the uh, ERA team pitching leaders because he has been our best pitcher by a country mile, I would say. If we look at the team stats rankings, uh, we are ninth in runs scored, uh, fourth on base percentage, third in batting war, to second in base running. Uh, 10th in starters ERA and 3rd in bullpen ERA. If we look at the ERA from the, the relievers, they are doing a good job, maybe except for Blake Wyman and Felix Penner. 844 and 742 <laughs> isn't that good. Uh, we are first in defensive efficiency. Uh, so the uh, the defensive players, they have been doing well. 
So I'm actually, uh, I'm actually pleased with the way this is going. Uh, I'm going to simulate a couple of more games, and then I'll see you back for the draft in just a little while. Before we reach the draft, I thought we'd take a look at the available international amateur free agents, and this is a sorry sight, the best ones, uh, at least if we should trust our scout decline, is Yurides de los Santos from the Dominican Republic and Willy Juarez at two star potential. So I don't think we'll be going after any of these, but I think we should look at the uh, home run power potential first to see if there are any monsters out there. And that leaves Yurides de los Santos. Klein thinks that he has a potential home run power of 69 out of 100, which isn't excellent. And if we look at the OSA rating, that tells pretty much the same story. So we won't be going after any of these guys at the moment. Let's save our money instead. And before we get into the actual draft, I thought we'd look at the mid-season review of the top minor league systems. San Diego Padres are up there together with Seattle Mariners. They have two great minor league systems. And we are not in the top 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. No, we are in 27th place with two plays in the top 100. The only franchises that are worse off than us are Colorado Rockies, Houston Astros and Washington Nationals. But at least Houston Astros have a really good squad or roster. And if we look at these two guys, we have Brandon Marsh, who is actually with us, a right fielder uh, with... Okay, contact, a bit of potential left. Uh, this is according to the OSA. If we look at Klein, who is the guy I trust, there's a bit of contact left, a bit of discipline left. What's his season been like so far? 270 average rating, uh, six home runs predicted to double his figures. So he's okay for us. And the other one is PC Rodriguez. Relief pitcher, uh, decent stuff, potentially could develop a good fastball. It's decent already, and if he could get his slider up to 74, this could be a useful player, I think. So, two guys who are decent, they're already in our organization, they are no longer in the minor leagues. Uh, so, uh, okay, a bit top heavy, but okay. So without further ado, the day is here for the draft and the MLB news are predicting Jordan Lawler shortstop out of high school to go first, followed by Marcelo Meyer shortstop, Matt McLean second baseman, Khalil Watson shortstop, loads of shortstops here, Alex Mooney the guy they predicted in the mock draft that we were going to take is number six and if we look at the uh, uh, all-star prospect game rosters we don't have a single player yes we do Hansen head sorry one of the guys who I have managed to uh, sign through a trade Let me show you him uh, he came through and has been okay uh, at the A level so far uh, so we got him for, in a trade from Pittsburgh. He is in the prospect game. Not sure what we should think about that, but maybe he is a little bit better than I actually thought that he would be. And that was with more further ado than I thought it was going to be. So now without further ado, let's go into the actual draft. So the mock draft has changed from Alex Mooney to right fielder Johnson Fabian. Our head scout thinks he has a two and a half star potential. Uh, Okayish contact, okayish gap power, okayish home run power. And I'm only talking about potential now because he is awful when it comes to his current ability. The OSA rating has him slightly higher by it with an excellent gap power. Uh, so maybe this is a guy we should go for. We will see what's up when it's our turn to, to pick. 
Jordan Lawler is number one. Uh, our head scout thinks he is not better than the one we are predicted to pick. Uh, and the OSA rating don't hold him that high either. So four home runs in 26 starts, 115 at bats at the high school level. That is not amazing. So we have auto drafted until our pick and so far Jordan Lawler, Q Mar Rocker, Brady House, Matt McLean, Marcelo Meyer, Adrian Lord Castilla and Judson Fabian. They have gone and it's our turn to pick. So this is what it looks like for us. For some reason OSA are holding Cooper Kinney in really high regards. If we look at him, he is predicted to become one hell of a batter with potential contact of 76, gap power of 67, and a home run power of 79. But if we look at Klein's evaluation of him, it paints a completely different picture, which makes me wonder what to think about this guy. He has nine home runs in 25. That game started at the high school level, 103 at bats, 447 average, which is good. Uh, but I'm not sure I'm not sold completely. If we look at Klein's prediction, he thinks Edwin Arroyo, the shortstop, is the best out of the bunch, or should I say, the least bad out of the bunch. Uh, OSA ratings and the Klein rating isn't too far apart, but I would I would be a bit disappointing picking a play like this first. If we look at high school and college stats, we can see if we can get any more leads. Any big home run kings? Chris Lancilli, Hunter Watson, TJ Collette. We look at averages instead. Khalil Watson and Noah Smith, Pim Weifwinkel, Elijah Hamill and Edwin Arroyo are the guys with the best average. Khalil Watson, 2.5 star potential from Klein and a 2.5 star potential from OSA. So, mm, I keep coming back to Edwin Arroyo, but he seems very lackluster when we look at his basic batting ratings. He looks like he's going to be a very good defensive player, though, which could lean us towards taking him. If we look at the scouting direct recommendation, They think we should go for Iron Moller. And what's this then? OSA rating three and a half. A catcher out of Dubuque. And Klein is thinking he is okay. How has he done at the high school level? 460 average. Seven home runs and 87 at bats, which I think is that is good. Uh, catcher ability 55, catcher arm 67. Never hangs his head during slumps or losses, which is good, I guess. I'm still more inclined to actually pick a royal. He's a very solid uh, defensive player. I'm going to go for him, I think. Arroyo it is. Make or break. For our second pick, the scouting director thinks we should go for Brock Daniels, a shortstop from St. Louis. Also a good defensive player. Not the best when it comes to uh, basic batting ratings, but I think we are going to trust our our scouting director here if we're not going to go for Pimbe Winkel or Elijah Hamill. 
and they think it just looks atrocious, which makes me think we're not going to pick him. And Elijah Hamill doesn't have the best potential either. Do we have any pitches here? J. Jackson Baumeister is the highest predicted starting pitcher possible. 56 with the 74 potential. Decent curveball. Lacks a good third pitch. We really need to work on his change up. Okay, stamina. Uh, could have a future as a starter. Lacks stuff, lacks movement, lacks control. And that means that I lack interest, I think. Jack Leftwich, on the other hand, could develop a decent control. Could develop three decent ish pitches. Could become an MLB starter. I'm gonna go out on a limb and take a chance with Jack Leftwich. For the third pick, Joe Jakonski, shortstop from Plymouth Meeting. Looks like a def solid defensive guy. Uh, could develop a decent discipline. Will never be a power hitter, but we're going to go with our scouting, yeah. uh, scouting director's recommendation here. For the third third pick we're going with CJ Wines so now the picks are getting slightly more lackluster already we have 26 rounds more to go I won't be doing them manually but I thought I'd show you the first five rounds at least CJ Wines could develop a decent stuff movement is poor control is poor could have three decent Pitches, sinker slider, change up, no good fastball makes me slightly worried, but our scouting director wants to take him, so we are going to go with that. And for the fifth pick, Alex Mooney, maybe he was predicted to go earlier on. But he's, his, insi his sign ability would be impossible. We just look at him. So we cannot get him in. Okay, so that's why he is not higher up. Uh, James Tips, though, is the guy with the highest potential. Why is the one, why did the one to pick Rene Lastris? Let's look at James Tips. Could develop a decent home run power, decent eye. Uh, Never going to be a good contact hitter. Uh, decent defensively. We are going for this guy. And then we'll just auto draft the rest of the draft. So we did manage to make deals with all of our top draft these uh, but it will take time before they come through if we just look once more at our prospects before we end this episode our mine league system has jumped up to 25th the guys who are just outside of the top 100 will look at them to see if any of them are going to come into contention for the next few seasons jeremiah jackson second base man could develop a decent home run power, which I always enjoy, which would probably make him at least we're gonna try him at triple A maybe next season. He's gonna to go to double A and then triple A. At A plus he has nine home runs in two hundred seven at bats, which isn't great. Two eighty average, so we will need to work on him, but maybe he could become good enough to actually play for us. We will see moving forward. Hudson Head, the guy I was talking about, he was in the prospect game, came to us in a trade with Pittsburgh, and is having a decent season at the A-plus level. It could 
develop his discipline. He could be good, could develop his defensive rating slightly more. Then I think he could be an interesting one as well. Uh, none of these guys are making me full of my share. Cody Bolton is already at the Angels with a good fastball, good slider, some power change up, but he needs to work on that. He is an okay ish relief pitcher. Uh, War 04 so far. We got him in the same trade as Hudson Head uh, with Pittsburgh. So, um, okay ish, I guess. Aaron Perez is currently at the A level. Uh, shortstop with decent defensive ratings. Uh, isn't really good at hitting the ball at all. No contact, no gap power, no home run power, no eye, and isn't good at avoiding case. So mm, he would probably be only a defensive weapon if he would ever make it into the major league. Joe Ryan at Triple A, decent stuff, bit of potential left for the uh, relief pitcher. Okay, control five pitches in his arsenal, 74 fastball, velocity 94 to 96, which is good. Uh, subpar cutter, decent curveball, good slider, and a subpar changeup. Could he keep working on all those five? Then he would probably become good enough to be a relief pitcher in the MLB. Uh, I don't think he has what it takes to be a starter. If he could work on that fastball and that slider, maybe, maybe. Uh, lacks movement though. We will see. I'm keeping my eye on the 25 year old. And the final one on the list, Arul Vera. Needs to work a lot on his batting if he's going to be good enough to actually hit any balls. Good defensive ratings, but I don't see him becoming good enough for the MLB in several seasons. Only 18, uh, currently at the rookie league level, so they would need to improve massively going forward. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I'll be back kind of shortly once we get past the uh, the trade deadline and then we'll see where this season is going. As you see, we are currently at 525 win percentage this season, only one game away from the 100 mark. So doing better than we were predicted to. I'm very pleased, but this is going to be for the long run. This is going to be a complete rebuild, so we will keep rebuilding. Thank you for watching. If you do like this, give me a thumbs up, drop a subscription, Put on your notifications so you don't miss this series. There will be plenty of episodes and we are in for the long run. Thanks for watching. Los See you soon. Angeles Bye. Los Angeles is my home Had a fair share of heartbreaks Made way too many mistakes But Los Angeles is my